the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. It says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. It says, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come. And he never said that power will make you a preacher. He never said that power will make you a prophet. He never said that power will make you an apostle. He said that power that you receive will make you a witness. A witness. Listen very carefully. I'm teaching now. Are we together now? A witness is not a prophet. A witness is not an apostle. A witness is not even a man of God. A witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that Jesus did not lie. Are we together? When it talks of witness, that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity, that's okay. We can continue with what we are doing. A witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement. Is a defender. Are we together now? It's a legal terminology like you go to the, the court of law and you are asked, do you have a witness? At the point where whatever action was taken, was there an individual who can attest for you? Now, remember we were not there when Jesus died. But the Bible says there is something that the Holy Ghost can bring to our lives. Are we together now? And it says that anointing, that power can make us witnesses, validators. Validators of the claims of Jesus. Listen without a system for validating the claims of jesus there is no reason to be a christian are we together now yes it matters that the claims of jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled it matters that men know that this jesus that we seek and this jesus that we serve listen carefully it's not just a mirage it's not a doctrine He's not just theology that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? He says we shall receive the power. I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Four to five years. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted. You know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. 
can we have it okay i'll just turn there i just wanted to encourage us with that scripture one moment my dear and i'll pray for you philemon chapter one and verse six that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing god does lord i had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria faga yesterday you prayed about those i can't hear with your right ear after the prayer i was able to hear couldn't hear with your right ear you're sure how long 20 years now um how old are you now do you mind <laughs> hallelujah interesting and and for that long for 20 years what happened just that pinning me and, and that was it and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the same way the lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of jesus christ give jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord thank you thank you so much so we're discussing acts chapter 1 and verse 8 now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of god but they are never benefactors of that grace so jesus began to teach us that the holy spirit has a ministry to believers he has a ministry to unbelievers and jesus said that he will reprove the world the fallen system of men of sin of righteousness of judgment and then to the believers he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ 
and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told i represent the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit to you but shortly i'm going to go away but i will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the greek word alos paracletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function he says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan is the holy spirit are we together now yes you pray to the father agreed you pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the holy spirit it's not that they don't believe in him they know he's somewhere one of the godhead somewhere and he's on earth if you are interested if you want power go to him and since i'm not a preacher i know he's just there if that is your understanding about the holy spirit you will never become victorious weak people feeble people but the holy spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs turned their lives into wonders they shook their generation the bible says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak look at these ordinary women and in our generation we talk of women like catherine kuhlman people like william um, um, um what's his name seymour and all of these great ordinary people born like any other entity but when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him Look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity. When I talk of demonstration, I don't mean falling down and rolling. No, I'm talking about the life producing power. It says, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men, Sophia, but on the power of God. We have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what, how dangerous it is to keep whetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience. There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people 
and turns them into wonders the holy spirit is not for men of god please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of jesus the holy spirit is not for men of god the holy spirit is for all believers he is a real person he can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark void formless scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sitest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the then civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the holy spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but i'm introducing the person of the holy spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek god as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the holy spirit facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face 
how could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do with that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother, why do you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go, two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing, but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry, you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15, Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you, do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You are brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You see, listen, listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. We live in a society where nobody believes in you. Don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me. They deserve to not believe in you. But you ignore them and walk with the Holy Spirit. Give him time and watch the wonder he will produce. He met a young virgin called Mary and said, Mary, the angel came on his behalf. Just believe and watch what will happen. That you can be pregnant without a man. That it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And the Holy Spirit says, hold my hand. And he said, Lord, I can't even talk like Moses. Don't worry. Hold my hands. And he turns you into a sign and a wonder. And people say, is this not the lady we used to know? Beauty and glory. That you, in a little one room somewhere, you are still struggling to raise 7,000 and pay. But you bring the Holy Spirit. I don't have a big house, but I invite you into my room. I tell you, his presence will squeeze you out of that room. And take you where it looks like him. That's the Holy Spirit for you. He's the lifter of men. This thing is not magic. It's not just prophecy. I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about him. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing Lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. I remember in, two, in 2004, standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade. I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. 
I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry. I don't think I'm as intelligent as people require for ministry. So I ran to him, cover my shame, cover my shame. I may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire. I didn't have the privilege that society demands, but cover my shame. Lord, I admit that I'm weak. And the Holy Spirit said, hold my hand, let's go. Let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time i he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him i remember those nights when i'll just find a corner and just be praying individually you know when i see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known appetite to be seen i just nod my head and i say these gentlemen have missed it little power they want to be recognized everywhere they want to be known invite me for meeting call me apostle don't call me brother it's nonsense when his power smells you even to the father's part they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman then phones just came out and they were making calls somebody whose spine was fractured remember that miracle the guy's spine was broken into pieces completely and all of a sudden it was with that call it was in the night i was going to browse and then pray and all of a sudden i called that gentleman with a bracelet confirmed here and i think then it was um the other place there and all of a sudden with just one single prayer brothers and sisters that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother the only thing i had was jesus the next day the way you gather for funeral that's how they gathered in that house the father had the boy was killed they said who did this they said it's one brother joshua not apostle all these showmanship people move around today they don't pray they don't fast no mentorship they don't listen to anybody they just brag around saying i saw a vision i had a dream i saw a ministry sit down and walk with him don't ignore him and look for fame you would die young you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding over my darkness, you are causing light to shine from I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues, and He said, Forget about that. A time will come 
when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking with, leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing would kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see god flogging an aspect you can come to church we teach about something else when you are done the holy spirit will say save that book we'll talk about it next year let's go back to what we are discussing and you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter allow him to work on you jesus jesus when he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life you will look at yourself and you will be afraid you say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing, you are causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let Not just because you are a leader. Not just because you are a worker. Settle down with the Holy Spirit. And say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me. And you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around. Turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in walking with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 
he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring ye into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them 
and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture he says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow I keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear God because the Spirit of God will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is God I saw an accident but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it but I saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i uh have -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god 
God does not speak like that. If you claim to be a man of God and your wife is a witch, you are foolish. You are not anointed. It means you are not even a man of God. Because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then. The validity of your anointing should be proven there. Let's be careful. We have ignored scripture. And so all kinds of words. You see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of God. The devil uses the faces of people. When God wants to lift you, he will now try to use a face of a man of God or somebody you respect. And come to you and press you. And you get up in ignorance. And say, ah, you do not know that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. The Bible already gave you that information. I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think he's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that, oh God, superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people. That's why we pray. We don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen. The anointing is there to make it happen. Are we learning something? The voice of God must never comp um, must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think, 21 or thereabout. Verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed to a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry... I remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication, 
but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you, divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid, there is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together? Let me tell you one of the ways I prayed on this. It was in a, in a big, it wasn't like this. I literally opened it and I was confessing God's word and speaking and laying hands. You will think the oil cannot hear. I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing. This is ordinary oil. But when the anointing comes, the same word I'm speaking to you is the same word. Receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly. It's more than just oil touching your head. You will see what it will do in your life. Hallelujah. Hmm. Jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go. And they were going and the water had what Jesus said and it started changing to wine. Jesus. Jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves. They had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving. When they started everything was multiplying. There were 12 baskets. The third way the Holy Spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter one verse eight but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power. Kabbalah Kotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. Just quoting scripture does not bring you result. The word must be anointed to profit you. How God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power, and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but God anointed Jesus, the word. Until then, he was the son of the carpenter. But the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls plants coming out of a barren ground good. 
so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargon he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbala kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people have found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you 
so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish harbor is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a harbor and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. So that you don't just say I was angry. I shouted at my wife today. Hey, hey, hey. Satan is coming. You are joking. My shouting at my wife is God. I owe an apology. As for you, the casting remains so. Regardless of the condition. Nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level i say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cost never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away 
I hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore Satan just as a result of pride and say I can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong Satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people I have seen people change in supernatural ways. This anointing can translate to the power to get wealth. That in two weeks, two weeks, 14 days, a man's life can change. He will be like, God, what is this? What is this? A gentleman shared with me, one of, one of my boys shared with me um, a, a story, very, very touching uh, testimony. The mother had been following this. And I think it was just yesterday night or so. The mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read. i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money. But not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men 
to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last one, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good. Come. No. There is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting. Look, I, I don't play child's play. All that one is, 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 is complex. When that honor is on you, people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you. The anointing brings loyalty in a strange way. That's why God must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people. Listen, people don't just become loyal to a man just because. No, no, no. It's not about giving people money. You can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow. Loyalty is not just by faking. It's not even by wearing good clothes. You can wear anything you want to wear. There is an anointing. Politicians know this. That's why they go to Habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal. There are great leaders who oppress people. Pastors who oppress church workers. They are looking for loyalty. 
you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows thereabout seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for Lord Rinsho Alakija or snapping with this person and they say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea 
there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia i cannot meet apostle but i hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he said father i lift up my voice to you concerning this woman i hear that supernaturally they need five hundred thousand by ten o'clock tomorrow i agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert five hundred thousand dot she will run to you and say woman of god what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of god to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus i agree with you i agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches and God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders the last thing that i'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of God and with all humility, my passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry. And it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully. That entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points. And increase your prayer life. That your prayer's time will be spent worshipping God. Not saying, oh God, this rent. Oh God, tea. Oh God, there is no sugar. And you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries. Oh, 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 oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact 
in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, Tonight I, declare I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray
Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day tonight is that day and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment over my life over my family I declare that by the anointing it is broken forever lift your voice and pray Pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. To principalities. To powers. To, powers, to familiar spirits. To familiar that, tonight, that tonight. I have been called. Out of every tribe, of every, tribe every, covenant, every covenant Every enchantment, every enchantment The sins of my fathers, of my fathers will, no will no longer work in my life I exempt myself Lift your voice and pray Every covenant Every enchantment Please pray, pray Shibata Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil that has covered my glory that has covered my every glory every veil every veil that has hijacked my honor that has hijacked my in the name of jesus in the name of i jesus. tear that veil to pieces lift your voice and pray cover your glory this is arise Shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, shine, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to 
every area of my life to every area of my life my spiritual life my spiritual life hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my body my body hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my finances my finances hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord family life family life hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my career my career hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord by the anointing by the anointing rise to destiny rise lift your voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left as soon as they encountered a man with an anointing the donkey started going back home are you ready to call back things that have left you say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every relationship every relationship every opportunity every opportunity every unction every unction every access every access that left my life that left my life by the anointing by the anointing i call you back i call you lift your voice and begin to pray business opportunities educational opportunities i call you back i call you back i call you back I call you back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went, but there are things that the Bible say immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, Can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. 
open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life every one of them Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. Overflow 3 is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow 4 is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow 5 are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like. Put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me. And let God surprise you tonight. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch, it will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is there are five, five. So we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough. They have been trained. Everybody will receive of the oil, especially for overflow four and five. Please, our securities, please help us so that we don't have any chaos. Everybody just be patient. The oil will get to you. Don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone. Be patient. Be patient. If you have a bottle of oil after service, I can pray for you on it. But for now, just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then
we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy.
Shekete kata bata kata bata kato. Reka kapa kata bata teka teka kato. Shekete bata kato. New dimension. New level. New dimension. First fruit victory. First fruit victory. I'm moving forward strangely manifesting the glory of God defying all the laws of men defying the expectations of men rising by the spirit rising by the anointing rising by the spirit don't be tired of praying something is happening to you something is happening to you prophesy over your finances prophesy over your health the word of the lord is upon you the word of the lord is upon you no devil can stand this impartation the word of the lord is upon you no curse no spell no divination no enchantment we are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living god the word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You're doing something to your spirit, man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders are being created. Bridging your expectation and your results. Outside pray. Those online. Use the oil you have upon your head. And that of your family members. And begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. 
Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus I command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere I decree and declare by the finger of God I call forth helpers to your life now. I call forth helpers to your life now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your marriage certificate. That your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces. Because of what the devil wants to do. In the name of Jesus, I mend that home right now. I mend that home right now. For some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry 
that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear the jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalists 
and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight. Exodus chapter 10 verse 7 10 verse 7 we are reading down to 10 please hurry up media help us and Pharaoh's servant said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto you let the men go that they may do what this is the reason why they have to go there is a motif for liberty there is a motif for prosperity there is a motive for advancement he said let my people go that they may go and keep it there please and serve the lord their god then he says knowest thou not that egypt is destroyed read on next verse eight and moses said unto and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh and he said unto them go serve the lord your god but then he began to negotiate he said but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened he says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an 
and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they will gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them to serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do i've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm I, I told you what the Lord told me here while I was praying. He said, trust me and watch your situation turn around. It doesn't take time. It only takes faith. When you trust God, he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you. Tell my people. Please sit down. As always, you have a role to play. Everyone listen to me. The role you have to play is your commitment to serving God listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own terms no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of God this is where many Christians authorize Satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are Egypt and the Lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say Lord I am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books I want to buy the books are we together I can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and God says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me God says that's the kind of prayer that I like I say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen Satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for God and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us 
God wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters it says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life he says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um, you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you dead sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it and wondering can god change it there are many of us in situations that only god in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a god in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that god in heaven there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motive your motive your motive oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something this issue of committal to serve god this committal to follow and pursue hard after god is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house 
I desire thy prosperity and God says that's it you've satisfied the condition to see my hand Lord heal my body I want to serve in your house but the department I want to join requires energy and Lord I have found out that I have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and God says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving God, it has become God's enemy. It's God's own fight. Let me tell you how to join God and Satan. You service. Let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back. And God says, whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy, including a man. Are we together now? When he when 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 the captain of the host of israel appeared before joshua he said are you for us or against you? he said all that is nonsense whoever is on god's side is the person i'm for if you are against god i strike you if you are for god we are a team god is not a christian god is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a Christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of God your heart is God preaching to someone tonight Lord I want you to launch me far I want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and God says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all these kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motive you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and God says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and I will not release do you know my 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 project with God is to come to a point where God is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me I want to get to that level of trust with God where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is god's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question god is asking lord i used to sing well but then i had an infection that destroyed my voice and god says but i've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and god says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motive is not intact forget about the experience of the power of God are we together now say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning take my hand the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, hey, no turning back. Don't man forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Come on.
on, sing it before him. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hey, I have decided It's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus. He said, I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God. I'm not talking of self-perfection. I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life. No way. There are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of god talk about passion for jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for god's sake what else will i be doing with my life if not lifting up his name jesus i lift up your name jesus i lift up your name that's what i do for a living jesus i lift up your name Time to lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this, don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother is your heart God is looking for. Not tithe, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. Ah, David danced before God. And his wife said, Abba King. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Did he read any book? I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne. And now because I am here, you carry your dignity. The Bible says God had him all. And that woman died barren. It was not the devil that made her barren. Let my people go. Not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you They laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus 
I want to be the God of my own self. So you manage your life by yourself. I want to be the God of my own self. So you answer your prayer by yourself. I want to be the God of my own self. So you mismanage your life by yourself. It says submit down to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil and he will flee. You know, I sincerely see a lot of people, great men and women of God, who want to walk in the anointing and I see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of Christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until God vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to Christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with god there is a dimension brothers and sisters where god vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure what you will become in 2019 no nina yesune everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen I want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to Jesus is not an initiation into a religion called Christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders <laughs> from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye o israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there 
or a genuine Holy Ghost born again visionary brother if I'm serious with God when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that God cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it Elijah said I'm the only one God said keep quiet there are 7,000 others who have not bowed to Baal please hear me there are people here God wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because God needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when God does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression so if God wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says I'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father I'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too I'm too I want to marry now God please go somewhere he comes to your sister I'm looking for men there's no time to look for God and God says I want to step into this family no one has given me space if God can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream will torture him till he thinks about it he will get up alone and you'll find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to Jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the Spirit of God you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of God to grow this dilly-dallying with God is the recipe for failure I'm too young to reject God the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life I claim I'm too big for God before we continue tonight I'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as I'm speaking to you the Holy Ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there I see you and the Lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but I'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in London whether you are wherever I'm going to make this altar call now I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus I know you will be healed young and old I don't care how long you have been you are saying Lord I'm tired of living my life the way I want I want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Nina Yesu ne bazanko bazanko so keep coming don't say there's no space even if you have to line up outside no problem this is your salvation with god 
greater than any miracle tonight just find somewhere to stand if the place is full keep lining up here right outside five someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle i'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that i've not declared jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure i know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved lord i know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me i see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days I will live for you I will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night I hand over my life to you say it again I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of God I'm separated from them this night I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today I am a child of God 
and I will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted Jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and Lord I decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost I speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today I declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of God I declare that you have a new beginning with God you are empowered by the Spirit to live a victorious life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone I'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what I want you to do um, protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details I know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in God that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please I hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now praise the Lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets Tuesdays 4 p.m. just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down Rema Chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the Holy Spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth I don't want you to waste this experience praise the Lord I bless you in the name of Jesus and shortly the Lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah please coordinate them coordinate them let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you hey, i never see anyone like you i never see Wait, Sam, help me like i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you
please everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny give me strange results lift your voice and begin to pray visit me in the name of Jesus visit me step into my destiny step into my destiny step into my destiny hallelujah in the name of Jesus shout it again in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long-standing challenges are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah please if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer if you are holding a child or you are doing something that's all right otherwise find somebody a serious neighbor hold the hand i want you to agree say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now lift your voice and pray agree if any two shall agree as touching believe in what you are saying you are opening doors hallelujah hallelujah you are still holding your hands say in the name of Jesus father tonight take away shame take away mockery from my life my family and my neighbor lift your voice and pray seriously roll away the reproach roll away the reproach of mockery roll away the reproach of shame roll away the reproach pray roll away the reproach Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, expose every force every yoke every spirit 
behind the tragedies in my life in my destiny and my family expose them tonight lift your voice and pray for the light shines in darkness pray for the light shines in darkness let your light shine oh God Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives, come my dear, when a spirit, listen carefully, when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I don't care what you do physically. Remember spiritual intelligence. You can be doing the right physical things, but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo, representing a covenant, an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry 
I prayed over the father's picture. I've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that, but you could look at the leg and see the bone. The bone, the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone. What happened to the man? He went to bed in the night. Brothers and sisters, I think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. You want to move forward but there is an embargo. The solution is not counseling. You need an encounter with power. Everybody say power. Listen, the power of the Holy Spirit is not a negotiator. It's an enforcer. When the power of God comes, it does not ask you whether you want to be free. Your assignment is to be open till it reaches you. When it comes, it scatters anything that does not look like God. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. I will pray for you now. The Spirit of God is upon me. Lift your hands, everyone. There are people here right now. I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. Are we together? When that happens, then we'll take it off from there. That's the first thing God wants to do tonight. Just lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And there are people and families and those following on, online. Except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay. That spirit must leave you. Are we together? So keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, wherever they are right now, I stretch my hands. According to the instructions you have given me, inside and outside. Right now, I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay. Keep your hands lifted. Shalakataya. Bring them out. Outside. There. Just the angels of the Lord are walking. I'm seeing like smoke. Just moving across lines. Line by line. Inside and outside. When it comes to you. When you are under that influence. That's the end of it. Right now. I command it. The word of the Lord is upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. No instruments. Don't play anything. Outside. There is massive deliverance happening. Separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it Bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 
many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken go now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone self tell me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction God gave me. That grace breaking chains now. I'm speaking across the congregation. I have been seeing this for weeks. Padlocks opening in the realm of the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Padlocks opening, opening, opening right now. I open them. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. Oh, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Fire is coming on 32 people, and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, one, two, three. I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people. I see in the realm of the spirit. I command it right now. I command it. Everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar. Now be free now. Help them, please. Help that lady. Be free now. So Right now, be free now. Be free now. Your influence is all over me. I'm under 
the shadow of your own. Everyone lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it seriously. Say in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction. Hear the word of the Lord. As I shout the name Jesus, I command you to live my life. At the count of three, shout Jesus. There will be an exiting of many strange spirits. One, two, three, shouting. I command spirits, you go now. You go now. You go now. You go now. Inside and outside. Any spirit resident within any man's life, any woman's life, causing pain. Hallelujah. Oh, as I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice scene. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison, every devil causing sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice. And they are giving somebody, everybody a substance. Like a drink. Something to take. They gave everybody, including you and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother. I don't know. They she brought somebody, and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I command that covenant, Jesus. that demonic thing, tying your life. And this miracle service, it lives now. In the name of Jesus. You too? Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are from Kogi State. The same thing. Hold my hands. Look at me. I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke. Please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, you two. Come, make sure that, so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out! Be free now. Out! I'm interested in this lady. Please, stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. 
the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long Eh? Three weeks. for three weeks you've been lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what me. hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance we given some medicine to take in the family lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kind ta 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 you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now i see snakes serpents some of you see them in your dreams they must go now they are leaving you now now they are leaving you now i command liberty 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 hallelujah i'm hearing a name jane jane like j-a-n-e jane 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 i'm also hearing another name victory is it victory like victory victory please don't come out if that's not your name what's your name jane your name is victory where are you from delta state delta state i have to pray for you your family has been seriously oppressed why are you people here you are all jane jane your name is victory i want to pray for you Kaza chat. Kaza chat. Is it Kaza chat? Who is that? Kaza chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom, Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why it's 
the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment i lay my hands on you something will happen the lord is saying i should start with you lord open her door now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands reproach leaves your life now in the name of jesus christ reproach leaves your life now by the power of the holy ghost reproach leaves your life now reproach leaves your life now hold my hands call your parents and tell them the lord is giving them breakthrough your family your entire family delta state breakthrough right now in the name of jesus christ hold on. the serious witchcraft over your life hold my hands lord the lord is asking me to walk with you this is how your destiny is opening up that's what the lord is asking me to do walk with you to walk with you something is happening it's a prophetic act you will not help her to walk with you opens in the name of jesus your destiny opens up now in the name of jesus christ lift your hands this girl lift your hands where you are i'm seeing wind around you and the lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gata le kate pras kata barato shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Hi there is the spirit of death on your family i'm going to pray for you don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom you came from where mama i came from edo state from edo state yes but i'm living with Sasa. you live in wusasa yes. but you came from edo state yes. i must pray for you there, why is he here who is this gentleman set you too you are an usher okay this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now, huh? Eh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you, and you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we, and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt is jeans who is that no no there, there's another come out i will pray for you 
this this is not the only guy just keep them here i will pray for him i'm seeing another person outside the second overflow you are standing on the road the spirit of god is speaking to you speaking to you this thing they roll and they smoke and then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction indian helm whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed please usher uh, direct them so that they come here i'm seeing up to five ladies in this group up to five ladies come don't be ashamed don't let anyone laugh at you please this is a miracle service join them we oui, we oui. codeine whatever it is join them whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not come and join them please quickly that addiction must be broken now who can stand against the lord no one can no one will keep coming the devil is a liar who can stand against our king no one can, no one will. Oh, 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 please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problems with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now assuming a brother has been trusting god to marry this sister do you think the brother will marry her please help me do you think he will marry her you look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant but she's not pregnant Kai. there is a lady who has refused to come out the power of god is going to come upon her outside you are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about 
I, I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. The power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? Yes, I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Yamuke. Yeah, Do you hear how, sir? Okay. This is your daughter. Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure to say you must. Whatever language is comfortable, speak it. If I don't understand, we'll find somebody to interpret. Please, don't put yourself under pressure and say no. We are excellent people, but we are not fools. We can't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. Mommy, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing restoration to your life. This is what I am seeing. And the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Can I pray for you, ma'am? I will pray for you. I have to pray. I'm seeing, not you, but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident. Traveling to Abuja and having an accident. We have to pray. I'm not saying it will happen. Once God reveals it is broken. Lord Jesus, stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy. You don't have to know her. Please stretch your hands and pray. Lord, we avert death. We avert death now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we avert death by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama? Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda? Something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta? No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Hilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. 
in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here yeah. this is somebody's deliverance here yeah. this is somebody's deliverance here yeah. this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance Lord set them free right now right now right now I'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobaria taska bandabria legetege basharatos kabridia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ this sheet for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the lord is saying open doors the lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for these gentlemen before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my colleague you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you huh eh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you hi you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your cross up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but that is not healing 
from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force Ah? Huh? yes sir. I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters I want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirits I'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what I'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is, a, is like a hospital stretch your hands I will lay my hands on every one of them Please, all of you should pray I want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned Jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out In the name of Jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be set free be set free as soon as I lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you i'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of jesus i break that addiction ah. hey jimmy come the lord is saying you should pray for this guy he will pray for you this guy needs serious prayer just lay your hands on him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus out out now I command that devil this is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now I break it right now I break it right now Hold my hands. You're a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not, come and stand here. Particular pain reliever. You can't help it. You can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it. It's a spirit. Pain reliever. I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital. God is visiting addictions this night. Quickly, come. Don't sit back and say, I'm all right. Allow God set you free. Let them come. Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There 
there's one of you fire is coming on you now after that fire comes on you then i'll pray for the rest that's the instruction god is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if they are for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach god is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of jesus christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the holy ghost addiction is broken now in the name of jesus christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of jesus christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life i command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the holy spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of jesus christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the lord now praise the lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up i want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute god can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray i'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart lord i will not have to write this again pray i've written it the bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray i'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the god of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray Shalakata prata katosa pretiash. Le prende kosoto prato kashabra di garabalarabash. In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray blasting tongues and say, Lord, this is the last of the prayer request that I'm having to write concerning this issue. Hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment jesus i present to you impossible situations according to men and i ask you turn it around now turn it around now turn it around now let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now every case here said by men to be impossible we we collide that case with the power of god and we produce testimonies now 
whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now whoever must hear god for this prayer to be answered hears god now father i pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance
everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now i prophesy the spirit of the lord is upon me i speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury 
I turn it around now. I turn it around now. I pray for every student here. Malasuda kabari katoshne la brigatis kalabrati the kind of results you have never seen i release it to you now i release it by the spirit i release it from the spirit in the name of jesus christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest i pray for your loved ones i pray for you whoever is called jobless here before next miracle service get something doing now i prophesy it again whoever is called jobless before next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but get a good job there are people here trusting god for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so bring it here receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Hear me? Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside, I tear that veil completely in the name of Jesus. favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again. Begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. Begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. The mantle of honor that God has put upon my life, God has put upon this ministry. You are part of this vision, you are under this grace. There's no reason why it should not work in your life. I command it to start speaking now. 
no more dishonor in your life no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you I speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked God in your life I command that in as you enter April from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter April it will not be April full it will be April wise it will be April breakthrough it will be April miracles it will be April speed. Agree with me again. I'm praying with you. Between now and miracle service April, please hear me. Results together with tears in your eyes for joy, you will return with them. Results together with tears of joy in your eyes. Wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.